Welcome everybody. We're gonna fix a keep today. And I've got Noxie from RSP with me. Noxie, you excited? Hey, good afternoon. Yeah, always fun. All right, let's do this, bro. Wow, that's a lot of stamina. I'm gonna go where this keep is or what it is, but let's do a quick overview. It's a VIP 21, close, closing in on 22. It's about 28.3 bill. And doesn't have all T15s. Yeah, it has all T15s and 3 billion troops. Wow. Good basis. Yeah, it is a solid base. Let's see, how much do we have? So we have 185,000 in pink gems. Mm -hmm. And where are we at? On the cake. Let's see. At 143. Well, that should be enough to cover the cake. Which is what we've been asking. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. And if you guys are wondering why are the notes on this side, that's basically everything we're going to do on this key today to fix. So we obviously looked in, like peeked in before, took a look what we were going to do. Uh, and this is a friend of ours who's asked us to step in and help out a little bit because uh, she doesn't have a lot of time lately. We decided this would be good educational content for a, a lot of people. So we'll be sharing away uh, everything that we do, why are we doing it, how you should do it, and all that stuff. Uh, but those are the notes, right? So we're going to go fix the daggers. We're going to go through, not optional, but optional chests. Uh, we're going to open a whole lot of them. Duty officers, sub-gen, sub-gear, PvP, gear combo, senate. Like, everything that you see in here is what we're going to go through. Been asked to cake, so we'll go ahead and cake. Uh, you think the best pack is event pack? Yeah, I I usually think event pack's best. Yeah, right. I agree. Well, let's look at this. You've got twenty-eight, two point eight bill RSS of each type, or seven hundred mil. If you grab that, you get the art treasure, blazons, rune stones, tax scrolls, badges, dragon crystal. Plenty of goodies in there. Go ahead. Uh, let's just see if double down for now. So let's on. And we're not going to claim that. That's two. That's a bit slow. Yeah. Still, the, the, the Pink Gems is so much more convenient to make purchases in the game. Yeah. Use Aptoid, load up Pink Gems, and then coin, coin away. I think that puts us in a pretty good spot, doesn't it? Yeah, that's 100k extra points. Okay, so we're at 243. We're going to get how many more? 250k more. So that's like 10 more packs. Well, this is a lot of hard work. Coining is hard. <laughs> okay. I think we might say, well, couple. Let's let's get close to like 400k. Not finish okay. cake because we're probably not going to need the sip 10 on this keep. That's one. And is there a reason you're not using the triple down? Yeah, I think I'm saving that for the probably the flex pack yeah okay so we might that makes sense yeah we might do one of these with a triple down or maybe two of mm -hmm. these with a triple down yeah, there was one triple down remaining yeah that's just one which is why I kind of left it alone we'll claim those good goodies there we go one two three okay so we're a little over three packs away from full cake yeah let's look if we get the royal cake there it is the royal party is on so you get one more double down you get more rewards and 
this is medium training token so you can train more t1s you get like 60 percent more on that base yeah so the drawback is that you only get more capacity not more speed yeah meaning that it is still as expensive as it is but you just have to tap the button less pretty much or whatever you use to get the button tapped wink wink yeah <laughs> Uh, it's probably worth it if you're a Bitcoiner to go to level 6 or uh, I think level 5 where you get these duty offices. Enough of coining BS though. Let's let's stop coining. Uh, what are we going to do? The first thing we're going to do is take a look at the daggers. So most of them are 9. Ground attack, siege attack at 10 probably because of defense. So that's, that works. I think what we wanted to do was this look at this that's a lot of unopened daggers uh oh that goes on debuffs and that's the hp thing i think no defense oh, defense okay although nice so let's do this none of them well one is upgradable so switch there confirm that and let's let's upgrade this we get one to level 10 which is mounted that gives 18 percent extra mounted yeah went to like 101 so the other thing you're gonna have to like that when you upgrade Oh wow, a lot of them can, can be upgraded. So let's just let's just upgrade first. Those are all mines, that's nice. Uh, those don't need to be upgraded. That's a lot of new defense ones that are not in use in the preset. That needs to be fixed, but the only thing I'm gonna fix is just the cav one on here. So because we just changed that, if I switch to let's say I switch to range right now. So it does switch to range. But if I go back to cabs, it'll just not change this because that's gone to a level ten. So let's do that and that again see how that one's not switched. They confirm that and validate this one as calves. This probably needs to be mod size, yeah. So you do that, you come back, calves, edit, save, and you're good to go. So now you can switch to ranged and it switches and you can switch back to calves. And now it'll like switch to all things cow. That needs to happen. We'll fix the rest of them off screen. Let's go to optional chests because we're gonna need a lot of rune stones. Uh, so that's like 38 of these things and nine, 47. <laughs> yeah, it looks like nine of them are the older one that doesn't have badges and um, yeah, uh, and the and the other items added recently. Yeah, and 38 that contain the. The most recent, so we're good to go for a little while. Yeah, we are. So I may not actually open those. Let's just look at the set of treasure. That looks fine. Uh, let's just skip this for now because we're going to need them once we go through the duty gems. Mm -hmm. Like the rune stones. So let's go to duty gems. That's the usually. I haven't seen that guy in a while. Uh, so that's like CJHP right here on the fifth star. That's a tower in general as well. That's, that's refined really well. Yeah, that's a smart thing to do. You probably always want to do the third specialty uh, because it helps you one way or the other. And most people have a lot of them, especially if you're coined. Yeah, yeah. I would say for for duty generals, always do the third specialty, and for subsidy generals, always do the second, even if you don't do anything else. And she's super. Oh, this is just one copy short for full ascension. Nice. Yeah, and that should add like 15 CJ HP on wall. 
So we need to fix. There is a gear, right? Or yes. So let's find the. Yeah, not all the gear was crafted, uh, but it was there. Okay, so let's craft the chest piece. Let's go. So that's barrack. That's archer. That workshop. That's hospital. That probably needs to be crafted. Early palace stables. As I said, academy. So quick compose. Got a shit. Begin. Okay, so that's not really, not really worth it from what I saw. But I'm gonna craft the other thing as well, which I saw in there. Oh, where did that go? Hospital. And now I can't. Yeah, this is a really good one if you. Uh, do a lot of SVS because it gives a discount on source life cost. So while you're talking about that, I'm just gonna go quickly to get some mats open. <laughs> this inventory is wild. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff available. But it's good because it helps us to help make a difference here. Yeah, it does. So that should be the easiest thing. Might open some monster boxes if we don't get enough, but let's do this. And that should now give us enough to craft. There you go. Hospital and Holy Palace. I don't even know what's the buffs on the Holy Palace. 10% reinforcement. That's a good one though. Good yeah. messy up too. And this one, as you said, healing speed and SVS cost. Both are nice. So I might just... Yeah, healing speed is always... Uh, the, the, I notice at least that healing speed makes the biggest difference for me. Uh, if, if you run into an expensive battlefield where you need to heal a few marches, then 10% healing speed is going to help you a lot more than 3% well, uh, extra attack or something. You're so filthy. I don't heal. <laughs> I'm not 70 mil. <laughs> <laughs> no, so this actually helps because you get troops back in your subsidy faster. Yeah. That's not too bad. And what are the refined stuff that you go on this? Yeah, so troop capacity, probably siege load is worth it. Maybe monster march speed, depending on whether or not you, you know, boss 24-7. Yeah, but it also had a subsidy training speed as refined. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, you can either get your subsidy troops faster by refining, yeah. or you could go the other one, like, Monster March Speed, or even Siege Load, if you plunder a lot. Those are fine, we're probably not going to change those. So, let's Shoka, Toyota, let's see, can we ascend this guy? Well, there's definitely enough copies, what are we going to gain? Another 5% HP across things and 5% attack, so that's totally worth it. I'm just not sure how much blood. What are you? Yeah, let's park him for now because I don't know if we have sufficient blood to do other generals as well. We're needed. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, but he's definitely a good candidate. So let's add that to a note. Go to the next guy. Uh, ABD, not a bad choice. Yeah, you can get. Like this fourth, fourth star is probably worth it. I don't know about the fifth if you don't have the copies. Uh, she doesn't have enough. Yeah, one short. Yeah, it's almost there. You can, you can get him off that one. So we'll see. Mikhail Premium Duty Gen. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's see, he can be ascend. No, no. Uh, almost there. Just one more copy. So, he's missing the weapon. Okay. 
I, I think from our review of the inventory we had, um, we had chests available. The chest is crafted, so that's nice. Let's just look at the next one. So Sula has it. Sula again is premium. Morris of Nassau has it. Estelicha doesn't have it. And he's on MA. So it's probably switched. Hospital. Um, yeah, you crafted this one. Yeah, so let's upgrade that. Okay, that's 20% healing speed, so hospital's done. And those, we're going to take a look at now, you know. Let's go back. So we need... No, no. Too fast. <laughs> We're going to need the weapon here, right? Uh, one yes. Siege. Let's go. Let's see. Do we have that open already? Yeah, we do. So, Siege me to chain it back. That's a no-brainer. Let's get that going. Big man. Yeah, and I think you can refine this for Siege HP or Siege Defense. One of the two is HP and one of the two is Defense that you can refine for. Yeah, I remember that. Should probably just bring up another key in parallel to compare. So we also have the Stables Officer again. We're showing a map somehow in a cheap like this. I'm just gonna very quickly open a bunch of boxes. I should that have small deflect stuff. And blazons for days. Yeah, blazons for like yeah, years, months, I don't know, decades. Okay, I'm just trying to grab some mats. <laughs> The pen chests should also have quite some uh, materials. Yeah, doing that as fast as I can. I know someone... I'm not judging you. <laughs> I was gonna say, I know someone that can auto-open all of this super fast. That's convenient. Yeah, that helps. Ew. Okay, so that should be enough to get our last one done for now. I think. Nope. Somehow it wasn't. Bro. What do you not have enough? That's 20. Oh, this is it. So this is not enough. Okay, let's see. I think I saw like a bunch of other boxes as well. The yeah, the level seven optional material chest. I think I saw a few. Yeah, that's what I was gonna go for. I think I saw them here. Uh, a little up, I think. No, should be here, bro. That's right here. All oh, right, this uh, <clears throat> he should be enough to fire our treasure. I think so. So go back here, swipe back. So quick! Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> we'll come back to it. We'll do that. And come back to it. So let's fix that. Let's get him the tank crate. That's five percent siege attack. Fire refine. Let's see what are we gonna get? I'm not gonna get anything special except siege defense. So we're gonna leave that for now. Probably not gonna refine this. Let's give some other five percent. Haven't been refined. Okay, so let's fix that. Material problem once and for all. I'm gonna open everything there is. Yeah, 
is uh, is consumption return finished? Because that should give a lot of depreciated treasure as well. Uh, no idea. I haven't seen. But look at this. Wow. We can do some work on the Senate. Yeah, definitely. I think this video is going to go a lot longer than I planned. <laughs> well, we'll see. We want to fix this in an hour. Oops. Yeah, I think the most important part is not that we go through everything. I think the most important part is that we sort of show the the mindsets and our thinking of why we do certain things in a certain way. That's true. But we can now craft that so that goes up. Well, that gives 5% care attack. Also on the wall, so that's a good thing. Yes, let's start maybe typing. So we've added five siege, five gag so far. Yeah, and 18 F from the dagger, but there was already in the chest, so I'm not sure if you want to count that. I will count everything I can. Eight okay. gag from dagger and fly from. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep up with that note. I might get lazy super quick. Let's do that. Let's do that. Upgrade. This is super fun to play with a Ferrari, though. Like everything's just there. Just click a button. It always is. <laughs> uh, what do you get in refine? So you get uh, a two. You have defense. Yeah. I don't think we have enough. Uh, refined stone. So that should sort our duty gems. Yeah. Yeah, we might um, uh, we might put it down as a note that once uh, once the owner has enough refined stones to, do, for example, do the FHP. Yeah, true. So the other ones can be left for now. Uh, we will come back. So the owner is not ascended at all. Let's see, are they copies or no? No. That explains it. That's fine. That's duty gen sorted. I think that I did see. Okay. So is there just one of them? Yeah, there is. So what do you gain? You gain 35 siege attack. And you debuff 15 defense. Versus. Ask in the back. If it's a two star, gives you siege defense and HP, so 15 HP. Yeah, that's a tough one. I don't know. Might leave it. What does um, uh, what does the first star on Heracles look like? 10% HP on reinforcing. Okay. Defense. So, I don't know. It doesn't. Okay, let's see. What is he buffs through specialty? This applies, which is just read. Oh, wait, no. Heraclius is the embassy guy. You need miracles. Oh, that's true. So, I, even this guy is actually good. He's debuffing HP. Heraclius should be in here. Oh, there's no miracles. I don't see miracles in here. Uh, I'm pretty so, sure. So, um, notes said we had miracles. I don't remember. Uh, there he is. Ah, uh, yes. Less pericles. Let's look at him. So, 10% HP and 20% siege HP. So, that's like 30% siege and cow HP. And there's another token of him. So, you can actually send him. So, I would I would do that first. Get uh, Let's get him to um, a high enough level. I'm hoping. Oh, we can so I think, I think Pericles with one uh, red star is better than scan the bag. Yeah, I agree. I'm just gonna push him a little bit so we can match it. Um, there we go. Uh, 
the only drawback is that he now needs to be made a super uh, hospital officer. And that's going to take a little time. Yeah. Let's look at him. You get 15 and nothing else. You get 15. Your next is like in city range attack 10 and siege attack 10. Another 20 at 5 stars, which is achievable, but like right now, the way he is, you probably want to use Yeah. So let's do that. So for people, um, for, for, for people watching that might have the question, why are we focusing on HP uh, most? Because of course we're, we're trying to focus on buffing Siege HP, Siege Attack, uh, Cav HP, those kind of things. Yeah. Would it be good to, uh, to go a few sentences over why we do that instead of, for example, range attack or ground HP, whatever. Yeah, so like in city range attack doesn't or defense for that matter doesn't help you that much. Even siege defense is not it's not the best stat. So after siege attack, the most important uh stat on a keep that is this size is probably HP. Siege HP followed by Cav HP. We're getting fifteen percent of that here. And you go up top to look at the new guy and you get like 10 plus 20, so 30 siege HP and 10 cav HP, so two probably the most important stats. And above siege first, and once your siege dies, you want to replace, like, you want to have the highest possible cav HP, so I'm going to take them all. And don't forget to add the um, duty of she gear to uh, purples. True. We're going to have to move that. So let's wait for him to shut up. I'm going to take that off. Remodels. And I think that's an, uh, I think that's an interesting point for anybody uh, watching is you always want to look at it from a perspective of what will I be attacked with? And you try to buff the counter of that as much as possible. And, and with a keep this size, you're most likely going to be attacked using siege. If not, it's probably going to go bad. So you want to make sure that your seeds does as much damage on their seeds as possible while you're being attacked. That's it. Thank you, Nox. That's duty sorted, I think. Uh, he just needs to be made super for obvious reasons. But outside that, Veracles is on and scanner bug is off. Yeah, and I would do the third specialty of Pericles as well. That is true. Uh, for a hospital, for a speed. That is true. He has healing speed. What does he have? Is, well, so you get like a little bit of defense stat as well. There's plenty of stuff in here for us to just click buttons. Yeah, and we still have plenty of the chests to open as well for, for runes. Yeah, so that's like 20% healing speed. Nice. That's duty sorted. Uh, might be worth while considering him if he's ascendable. No, he's not. So if you can't, then Toyo is probably better. So this is. Yeah, I think for. Um, I think for most of the premium duty generals, once you have the tavern one at three stars or higher, unless you can do uh, two stars or more on the premium one, I don't think there's much value uh, immediately uh, unless you can do full specialty and all that kind of stuff on them. So Heraclius is going to be interesting because what does he do? Embassy, right? No. Embassy. Yes. Yeah, so he goes to Embassy. Let's see who's on Embassy right now. Uh, warehouse, factory, research. So, okay. Mm, this is timely. Uh, there was a reason I didn't claim those rewards before, because this is probably the best reward to claim. You get a lot of speed ups. You get like shitty lot of speed ups. 
Yeah, and this shows up every few hours. I think it shows up twice a day to uh, that you can claim speed ups instead of materials and RSS. And it, it kind of depends on uh, uh, on your time zone when it is exactly, but it might be good to to check that out, to just not open it, um, and then see that it changes. Because when you reopen the game, or when you log in, uh, or or when you go into uh, into the main city after a while, it will pop up, and just take note of the time when uh, when it changes the speed up. Well, that is true. So he does like reinforcement capacity, but more important than that, he's gonna do like one. He's gonna buff your siege both sides of the wall, and he's doing like what twelve. 16, he's probably doing thirty C uh, HP debuff. Twenty-seven, thirty. There you go. So he's doing thirty HP. That's for like cav and siege both. Which is a nice debuff to have. It almost reminds me of Wipers. What, 1000 siege HP debuff? That's yeah. How you get there. This is how you get there. It's all these things, yeah. Having the right duty generals, having the right subsidy generals. Um, and unfortunately, and, and we see that as well, unfortunately, duty generals are often forgotten. Um, and, and depending on the keep, I would go as far as saying it might be more important to do duty generals than some of your PvP generals even. That's true. So the first three are kind of cheap, so I did it. So you get six, plus six, twelve. Uh, I could just look at this, though, 12. So you're getting 18 right now, but she has plenty of these. So I might just... So just remember, if you have these stones, never never hit this button. That's dumb. So if you have these, you have to go through the pain. There's just no choice. Yeah, and just for a little while, though. Um, so as soon as we reach... Uh, now, we can, uh, now you can do the learn all if you want, without stones. Okay, so halfway there, I'm gonna save that for something else. There you go. Perfect. And we're debuffing 30 HP across the board. That's like 120 across four troop types, but most importantly, Siege and Cav. And it's probably about 7 or 8% what an average keep this size has in Siege HP debuff. So it's a really good value in my view. Yeah, it is. Siege attack is going to go up by 35, and defense across the board is going to go down by 15 and 30. We're going to find the embassy now. So, deity. Let's see. Some tier, isn't it? Where is the bloody embassy? I think it's defense. Oh, is that? There it is. Harold is on there. Uh, so, Harold's currently a super embassy officer. So, yeah. while in battle, he might currently be better um, because he's super and gives the reinforcing troops a higher stat. Um, but same as uh, Pericles, it would be good to get this one super as fast as possible. Yeah. That's... And of course, that's fairly easy to do. And just um, take a, a gold subsidy or a historic subsidy if you have it. Uh, make sure that your subsidy slots are full and just keep attacking it with your uh, with your general and a bunch of siege troops to make sure that I'll just, that it does and I'll just find a K40 on the map and hit them <laughs> or that uh, or or put them on a subsidy when you're being attacked in battlefield there's a number of different ways to get there uh, relatively quickly this yeah just level up just level up here duty yeah. to super that's most important so that's duty gens done. I don't think we can send anything else. That guy's Hammer Abbey is good, especially if you can get him to like three stars. Oh, okay. I don't think we can, not here. No. This this would always help you, this particular thing. So, and you've got like 114. Okay. Especially because research training speed that you apply on the academy 
also applies to the military academy as a uh, uh, SS research speed up. Well, we wouldn't be able to use the buff here, but you've got like 2% siege HP right here. Which I think commands to 8 for 12, so it's about 20%. It's probably 20. Yeah. So that's that's a good thing to do if you can, if you have the rune stones. It's dead pericles, which if we've taken Scanderberg off. And Justinian should be on, like he's gonna gain buff. Research speed by 10, ground cav HP by 12, which is good. But I don't think we can make him super, so I'm just gonna leave the owner a note that they should do that. Subsidy. So, some of these generals are amazing, like NBK or NDK is like sent HP 30, range attack. There's another 15, like. Siege HP and Siege Attack and Range Attack. So if we can get him to 5 stars, he's amazing. So when they got his second specialty, so... Oh. Oh. Okay. So... We've got this, which is super nice because it's doing Siege HP. But the other bits, I don't know why they're here. We're gonna go ahead and... Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's first see if we have um, uh, if we have gear to replace it with. Yeah, we don't. That's all I'm trying to see. We don't have the gear, but this definitely does not belong here. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe Ivan. Like, no, it doesn't belong here. No, seriously, it doesn't belong here. The ha <laughs> hand leg of my, it's good. Uh, this definitely doesn't belong here. This doesn't belong here. This should be on a rain general, which is, I think, where it was. So this should be on a rain general. And we're going to look at those PvP general shooting. And this, yeah, this should be, ideally should be in cab general. If you have multiple, you can, like, set up multiple. So it's, it, it looks like this was brought together from previous generals and put onto a sub. So yeah. I think for now it's fine. Um, but I think it would be good to replace a lot of this with a many day gear. Um, to make sure that there's also maximum value there because there's a, there's probably better places to use the buffs that you get from the Civ gear instead of only the debuffs. Yeah, true. So that definitely needs to be changed. Uh, and you probably want to do like the... Uh, we might have that here. Let's see, do we have the right gear? So yeah, you, you can use the AKX and up upgrade that. Uh, the helmet should probably be not this. I'd probably not do cows. I'd probably do the courageous A, which does ground HP and defense. This sh this is definitely good, which is range attack debuff. This again is good, siege and cav attack debuff. This is good, siege and cav. This is yeah, this is good. So, this kind of is what I would do, uh, and I'd upgrade the whole thing. Uh, the only thing yeah. that I change is the chest piece. You probably want to run a lot more of these for range attack, and then upgrade them to get four more. Like, you get siege and range, and the buffs out there are crazy. Uh, Day yeah. in C3 has like 4,100 archers now. You want to debuff that. <laughs> you, need, you need to be able to debuff that. Yeah, and the benefit of the Ares pieces is that while they're more expensive to craft because they cost badges, once you've crafted the initial piece, they're less expensive in four certificates and badges to upgrade than a commandative gear. You can do two Ares pieces for one commandative piece in terms of four certificates. Yeah, so we don't have any of those here, but you can kind of see the cost. Yeah. Oh. You can, where do you see it? Okay, you see 25 Ford certificates at the top instead of 50 on the one next to it. There you go. So that's like 1300 of certificates. There's plenty of badges. So, yeah. Like upgrading that chest piece isn't going to be that expensive. No, I agree. It's, it's going to be easy. Even upgrading these rings are going to be easy on this keep. There's plenty of stuff. Do that. That's not... Yeah, materials is going to be a challenge sooner than... Um, 
uh, than these things. Yeah. Okay, so we might we might just fix this offline. That's going to take a lot of time. But uh, it's a good recommendation. Would we'll definitely have this if you're a big keep. You probably want to have the Han. Uh, yeah. Leg armor, but the rest of it, like the chest piece, should be the Ares chest piece, uh, and then the X can debuff. Range HP, you could do ground HP and ground defense on some, I don't know. Uh, I might even go as far as saying run a couple of Ares swords for carry HP. Yeah, because the upgraded Ares swords give 37% better debuff off the top of my head. Yeah, so that uh, that's definitely a big value. It is uh, because in in conjunction to what we talked about earlier, um, you want to buff DJ attack and uh, siege HP and cav HP as much as possible. The idea is that because you will most likely be attacked with siege initially, you want to debuff siege, HP attack, and range etc. as much as possible. Um, in addition, Cav HP makes sure that they uh, that they essentially um, their marches die sooner. So we want to make sure that on these kind of keeps, Cav HP, Siege HP, Siege Attack, followed by range. I think. Yeah, I uh, might bring up the sheet later on the screen. Yeah, uh, let's just look at quickly the subgen. So NDK, good choice. Baldwin, a good choice. Uh, let's just go through why Baldwin is a good choice. So one, snipe, ten across the board, and two, ten siege HP and twenty range and siege attack are uh, fully ascended. So you're gonna get like ten siege HP here, you're gonna get uh ten siege HP here, and then you get range and siege attack. So across the board he's one of the one of the better ones. Uh, in the premium yeah. section, so if you have... And the benefit of Baldwin is that he's fairly affordable as well. If you, uh, even if you're not not a very big coiner, Baldwin is in the uh, chest for Advanced Journey. And the Advanced Journey chest, if you finish the uh, 50 levels, you can get that chest for five bucks. That's and cool. Baldwin is one of the eight or something generals that's in there. So the chances that you get Baldwin are pretty big there. Yeah. Uh, so again, Nero, super nice. You get like defense, which is kind of meh. Uh, but I would have, I would have, I would strongly recommend that you do this. You on the fourth specialty, you get like six, three. So that's looking like twenty, right? Nine, twelve to fourteen, to sixteen. Oh, still good enough. Uh, and this is why you get narrow. You get like 15, 25, and yeah, 25 HP, Cav and Siege. And you could get him from the tavern for a fairly low cost, like 24 million gold. Yeah. So this guy, I'd probably boot. I don't think he's relevant anymore. Uh, 25 range attack and like 15 Cav HP. And you get what, 30 right now? 30 range attack out of him uh, without the fourth specialty which I don't think is really that amazing does a little bit of cow HP uh, range attack range HP okay so yeah not impressive unless you have a fully kitted like if you have a fully kitted knot or C knot or I don't I can't say the other word uh, <laughs> like <laughs> uh, let's just call him C knot yeah so he's not worth having. Uh, Adder Jackson, I think the era is over again. Uh, you can have him. If you've got him for the Ascended, worth it. Probably worth keeping. That's like, he does. I'll show you I, I'll show you guys the sheet in the end. And you'd, you'd know exactly why I'm talking about that. These guys got the range debuff. Like the debuff skill books as well. We never got that. So that's a good choice. Well, I think we got it once. Uh, I think we got it on server once. It was underwhelming and we didn't put too much attention in it. That's true. Uh, Gilgamesh, again, let's look at this. 25 crown, that's useless, but look at this. Siege HP. And you're going to get more Siege HP if you can. The fifth one is nasty. 
if you can get there. Yeah, but Gilgamesh, his fourth specialty is is probably one of the best that you can get for city generals. That is true. So if you look at this, you're getting what? Four CD HP. How much if this keep missing? So six and ten. So fifteen is missing right now. But once you get that, it's it's amazing. So definitely would recommend having them. Again, I would not run what it's running right now. Probably change a whole lot of stuff in here. And we're probably gonna... Yeah, I would probably do Axis and Airy Swords. Yeah. Uh, Mark Anthony, a good one. I don't know about running two of him though. I don't think he does Siege HP, does he? No. So I'd probably run one of Mark Anthony. I would definitely not run Narcissus. Not a good Yeah, I think this keep is too big to run Narcissus. Yeah. Um, Narcissus is good if you're being attacked with ground. Yeah, and if you're being attacked with ground, you're probably dying anyway. Yeah, and the the, the moment you're getting attacked with ground for for a keep this size, you're probably already six or seven attacks in from yeah. full rallies. Yeah, and like if you're a trap, you probably don't have Narcissus. So I I don't yeah. really write him. So it should go uh, in favor of, I think we saw, like, Kojo needs to come in here. Definitely amazing. 35 range attack, cav HP, and if you just get one star on him, you get, like, 45 range attack and 50 cav HP, which is kind of... I, I think Hojo, without any uh, any ascension, is better than c with one star. Yeah. So... So he would be a good replacement. Would be a good replacement. Uh, the Jackson, I'd probably replace him on this keep, and I'll show you what I'll replace him with. There you go, this guy. And I'll show you exactly why. So, 30 CJ HP, straight out of the gate. And if we go to specialty, I know they don't unlock. They're that 8, or 12, 16, 18, and 20. So, 20 right there. I think it does a more in Ascension. I might just run like two of him. So you get 30 plus 10, 40, and you run two of them. Two of Yard Carols uh, in the keep. Yeah. In this keep specifically. And the main reason is that the base skill of Yard Carol does 30% Siege HP debuff. Yeah. And that is not with, with anything done on him yet. So out the gate, Yard Carol already does 30%. And. Siege HP is, 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 I would say, the most difficult debuff to get in the game. Right now it is, yeah. Yeah, because you can't get it from Ares gear or Ecumenity gear. The only place to get it is uh, Research, Civ gear, Premium Generals, um, and, and, and the Champions. Probably uh, Those are probably the only places where you can get Siege HP debuff. That's it. Okay, moving on. So that was that was a subsidy general and gear uh, ramble. I'll bring up a I'll bring up a sheet, or if you hit our Discord, you're probably gonna see the sheet linked uh, in the public channel. I think the channel's called Public Tips and Tricks. Yeah, that's right. So let's look at the Senate real quick. So you've got level one, level one. Not quite there yet. Uh, so the other ones have been promoted at least once. And now we're looking good. There are plenty of plenty of buffs in here. And like if you if you're spending you can see like it's not it's not that big of a deal, at least not in the early stages. But once you hit lighting level three, it gets crazy. Uh, there's plenty of debuff, uh, sorry, buffs in here too. There you go, Philip probably couldn't ascend anymore, so on entity. Senate, which is not bad. Uh, Scipio, World General, Serena, Minamoto. That's all good. 7x8 and 5x8, again, cow HP right here in city, which is good. So Senate should be, you should, if you can, up it, probably should up it. Uh, and your old Ascended Generals can go into here. If you can't find, like, old Generals, the trick is to put in Tavern Generals, because 
those would be easier to send over time. The token ones get rotated and you may not be able to find them again. Yeah, and I would um, I would always look at, because in the Senate you don't need ruined up generals. So if you have a general that's only ruined up and not a sender, I would probably dismiss that general for fragments to get the runes back and then build it again and get it back up to a level that you can use it in the Senate. I think the level needs to be 25 and five, because it needs to be five stars. That's it. Because then you get the runes back for it. Yeah, so like this Minamoto, probably dismiss, get the runes back. The CPO is perfect. Don't touch him. The Serena and the Philip, I don't know. We're probably going to leave them in there. The other ones look fine as well. Let's go to the wall. The wall is Marshall plus Nimosa, now Mosa. So that's a kind of HP focused wall. Uh, okay, that's Pun Choreo. I'm gonna make some changes, I think. So that's ground defense. That's Cav defense. That's ground HP flats. And that's Cav HP, a good percentage and a bunch of flats. I'm guessing the dragon is all flat too yeah so the dragon is all flat so level 12 i'd probably push this to 15 uh using the old friend so let me just yeah. what would i do on this wall if i was here i'd probably take this the flats take that out and those flats with a percentage and I'll talk in a bit why am I doing this because Noxie is going what the hell's happening here <laughs> yeah I was like did you lose your mind <laughs> so it's a little bit unorthodox and you do lose some buffs by breaking choreo because choreo is 6 by 6 you get like 25 HP so you're missing, you drop like 25 HP, but there's something you're gonna gain. And that's like Siege HP debuff, the hardest thing in the game. Uh, range attack debuff on your wall. So that's gonna help with defense. And then you're gonna gain like Cav HP 30, which is what you probably care about the most uh, in terms of HP. So you get 40 plus 30 here, so 70 Cav HP or breaking the set and losing like 25% because the other ones don't have KV HP. So that probably is a wall I'd run here. Specialty, I think they, they have. So ground HP, heavy legions. None of this should go on wall. And we might have to find gear for this. Hannibal, which wouldn't be this. Definitely. Well, you have gear. The Lord of Barb King uh, had the full hand dynasty set. Oh, I was gonna look at it. Sorry, these are all refined. Okay, this one isn't. So this probably belongs to Hannibal. Right, so we're gonna take that from Electro. Chop her head mm -hmm. off. Send that to. And this does mean re refining some of these guys, which is not bad if you look at the re refines. Like three of them are for Cav already. Uh, the fourth. And they're really good Cav already as well. Yeah. The chest piece, we might have to find something. Uh, you're right, we're probably going to have to take it off. The uh, NDK. There you go. No. This is a different one. Where's the other guy? Yeah. I guess so we're definitely taking that. Remove. And we're gonna fix that hand below. Now I don't know if this is the most optimal thing, but right now for this keep at least, this is the most optimal optimal thing. Uh getting that debuff on the wall. Uh, so some re-refining might happen. We're gonna have to find her a helmet, which can't be choreo. So we can grab that. Oh, let's see. Do you have it? Oh my god. Yeah. So, a bus is probably the best one to get. But the refines are. Yeah. They're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> they're 
maybe the hang on helmet if it if it's not that good yet and i think the han helmet also has range yeah because the han helmet is the old range uh, helmet essentially yeah so that's also the fine for what let's see that's the backup ludwig a lot of things in progress in this game though oh my god the fully isn't that pala palace in there and i'm trying to see if who has the other gear? The gear on Minamoto. I remember seeing the backup archer somewhere. And I remember seeing the... There was a Douglas and an Electra. Uh, I think there's a fully ascended Douglas and a fully ascended Electra. That's the um doing this keep is I've got a Douglas. Yeah, Electra is really good if you go for a rally cab. Um, based on what we know of this uh, of this team, they're not filling uh, 50 mil plus rallies. Yeah. So this is going to have to happen off offline. Otherwise, we're going to chew too much time. Uh, let's start fixing stuff real quick. So we're going to leave Electra as is for now, but we're going to fix that helmet. Shortly, we're probably going to remove the boat, in all honesty. Uh, the rally cap might be required. I don't know. I'll talk to them. We'll see if we keep that. But the plantagenet boots would go away. And the helmet would probably be uh, the Abbas helmet. So we do that. And all of that magic and background. Ludwig, can you send him? And yeah, not really close to getting fourth star. So close. To finishing. Uh, Palace might be... So yeah, we're going to switch. I'm going to probably do a follow-up video where I show you what we did in background, but <laughs> definitely going Palace there. Uh, Alessandro. Yeah, I think we saw in um, in the in the March presets that currently Churchill is the main siege with Palace as assistant. Yeah. And one of the things we were looking at is if is it uh, is it interesting to switch them around? Oh yeah, we did talk about that earlier, didn't we? Yeah, we're probably... Yeah. We're prob and essentially the main reason would be uh, that, that um, one general is not the other, so the ascension of one general might be better and the specialties of the other. But an assistant doesn't have uh, doesn't have his ascension, but he does have his specialties. So um, I think the conclusion we came to, and it's something we need to verify to be sure and can go back into on a follow-up is that churchill as an assistant would be really good but as a um, primary general he would lose from palace in terms of buffs yeah like palace plus churchill was probably better off we might let that in the sheet um, mm -hmm. the other thing is this one thing doesn't need to be ascended let's see if we have another copy of the old stain here well we're gonna get copies of him anyway so what is not going to be main, we know that. I mean, pull him back. So we're going to get some blood back and we're going to get copies of Wadi back. There you go. We have plenty of copies and we have 1400 blood. Just like that. Blood on, I'm not sure why he's being pushed. Interesting. Might leave that in there. For now, I saw Subutai in there. Um, Ascended? I think when we went through this, no, um, uh, just start. Uh, I think when we went through this, we, we saw that there was no Eleanor. So we would need, uh, for Douglas, we would need an alternative. And I think Subutai could be an interesting alternative for that. Yeah, so we're probably going to do Subutai. And you're just going to have to spec him, which isn't going to be that hard given the amount of rune stones on this keep right now. Yeah, and that's even without opening all the optional chests. Yeah. So far, we haven't done that. Okay, Kaguya plus Electra is the combo that has been running in this keep. So, Wally can come back. He can do 15% rally cap if you need to. But for now, we just get the blood back. Uh, let's look at... So, that, that might be in a follow-up video. Or people that are gonna watch this. 
what were we going to look at what was the next thing oh we're going to look at this right here so that's 24 i think that opens up at 27 yeah 27 you got like another 10 percent grand defense so let's look at this first why why do you make certain decisions so there's like marching matter attack 50 percent max possible the first 30 is kind of easy and then it gets crazy but here's here's the other bit so nothing too impressive nothing that you would go gaga over this one is at 36 that's crazy because at 37 it opens up more so let's look at this in city range attack 30 cav hp this is how you gain a lot of cav hp so 65 first 20 30 is kind of easy uh and keeps like these so this is what i would push if i was in here and look at that 3.6k so this is what i would push this is the easiest way to gain and buffs you just added like 25 percent in there so let's look at that cav hp we're at 42 i think more opens up at 44 right here yeah so you get another 10 percent cav hp you just have to do this level 36 spiritual catch and at the moment you have a seal at level 15 16 and it becomes very expensive to upgrade it it might even be interesting to do a low level one of another one because the seals themselves for the innate skills it doesn't matter which one of these seals you do as long as it's on that beast yeah so now i wouldn't do the range attack anymore you win like 40 percent in here uh so as nox said i'd probably go do something like this marching ground to hp Right, like that's 210 of those things. Yeah. Uh, and get to like level 44 for the other bit. Let's look at yeah, for this one, I would go with the NCD Siege HP, the one at the uh, top. Yeah, probably. And push that in the direction of level 10. Mm -hmm. um, because that would give you more Siege HP, but because of the innate skills, it would also give you an additional cav HP of 10%. Yeah. Same here, this is at 37, I don't have any more seals that I can click and spend, so we're just gonna go over this. Siege attack, that's what I'd be pushing. I'd be pushing like stats that benefit you universally first, like in that you use most stuff for PvP. That's what I'd push. So siege attack here. Uh, here I'd probably do like the range attack, which we've already done. Here again, we would do probably do in city siege attack secondary. I think there's one more good one here. Yes, yeah, so I'd take some cav attack to like level 20 25%, and then I'd take the in city siege to 20 25% on this one. Um, yeah, I think for most keeps, um, unless you're really the, one of the biggest keeps, I think for most keeps, level 10 is the sweet spot to get all of them to before you start upgrading sure because level 10 is something like 350 400 seals per level and after that it goes up a lot and then yeah. like level 11 of a certain seal you could do two or three levels of a different one at the same time with the same amount of seals pretty much so again this range attack in here you could push this to like 10 12 and gain 20 25 percent Yeah, and I would, I would go as far as saying that uh, seals are a more important reason to get the premium spiritual beasts than the buffs or deep buffs that the beast gives now. Yeah. Like, these debuffs aren't, aren't that impressive anymore. They used to be before they did the old thing. This one is Siren, probably is still relevant with range attack. Because yeah. attack yeah, and the Fox. The Fox, yeah, Fox. 26% cav HP, that's good. Big says, I don't know, ground HP, maybe. Uh, let's look at the champions. Level 20, that's crazy, that's wild. 
level 12, I'd probably push this to like Yeah, I, I would not focus on Elizabeth right now, I think. Yeah. I would look at the third one first. Yeah, I'd probably go Adrian too. Like CJ speed debuff right here. Yeah, so, I, I would push Ariadne to 11 and then start focusing on the others again. Yeah, so that's what I would do in this keep. I'd prioritize getting this like extra 13% siege debuff. Uh, let's look at hello. She's kind of got that at 7, so yeah, you could push this, you get another 8% attack. Yeah, and at level 8 you get Kev HP debuff. Yeah, I'd probably push like these ones to that 12 to 14 mark. But I wouldn't, I'd yeah. just leave Elizabeth alone. I don't think he mm -hmm. gain anything big. Yeah, and, and I would get the new one. Yeah. Uh, because of her, um, because of her in city calf. That's it. I would agree. You get like you can get sixty percent calf HP out of her. Obviously, at probably yeah. eighteen, but that's expensive. But you can get 30, 36 percent easy. Let's see. Can we actually upgrade that? We just coined Ebony. Calm down. Yeah, definitely can be upgraded. So yeah. I think I'm gonna do a follow-up video where I show everything done. Uh, so this should definitely go level 4 because you get more buffs. Look at that, you get so 3, you have 10, again like 5% yeah, extra on everything and like construction speed goes up 2 by 5%. That's not bad. Uh, that's the other bit I'd do in this keep. But look at Saudi Brighton's, so that you find flat. Modern attack and one HP, that's not bad. Range attack on most of them. Three ground, one ground HP. That's fine. Four siege attack. This probably isn't refined. Yeah, he's level seven. He is hungry, he needs to be fed. Uh the other ones look nice though. They're all yeah. probably on the back. And their uh, skills? <laughs> Good point. Good point. So 40, 40, 40. I don't know. Yeah, 40, 40, 40. So they, they haven't been loved in a long time. Probably a little badger though. Oh no, so they don't have been. The range attack, range attack. And this is enemy ground at cow HP. This is good. Uh, this is being pushed, which is good range in siege attack debuffs. On our Tarasu, which is nice. Uh, yeah. All troop HP helps. I'd probably push that. Uh, this needs this guy needs to go up because he does like enemy troop HP across the board. Yeah. And I would go. Uh, I would look at Nidog as well because he gives both range and siege buffs in his uh, active skill. Yeah, and plus march size. You get a bigger march across the board. Yeah, with Nidog. Um, and the wall dragon is also important. Although that might change with the new wall dragon coming this All Stars. Yeah. Well, that's refined for range. I saw him on Ludwig. Yeah. So this needs to change. Oh, the refines here need to change. One of those two. He's on Atel, which probably shouldn't be the case. And this should be on a C General Churchill. So, uh, probably change that for active percentage. And he's kind of just not refined at all, I think. He got used because there's no other place for him. So, yeah, we're going to make some big changes on this keep. Uh,. And I'll show you the update. Uh, I'll do another follow-up video where we show update of things we do. So we've been talking a long time. <laughs> yeah, this has been a rant. At least uh, the gears are amplified. Otherwise, I would have probably changed the gear here. He's fine, but the whole, whole set, I don't know about that. I, I'd probably even go as far as saying this is a good CHPD buff. 
but it's again amplified. This is kind of, this is okay, but in general, we're probably going to switch to Palace. Let's go. Douglas is going to become primary archer. He's going to remain a backup ground. Oh, here you go. That's like the backup. Ball jump. Okay, so let's get out of there. The other bit we were going to look at was development. So we've got an ATL at one star. Only done. So I don't know if we want to kill him, but this is kind of pointless. If there is a Caesar. There you go. So there is definitely a Caesar. So he needs to become primary. I'd probably take the dragon off well. And he needs to get the full Rurik. Yeah. So. Okay. Now oh, let's do that. For now. We'll come back. And swap it to Caesar. There's no one better than him at bossing. Uh, let's look at Blazon. So, that's not bad except the reinforcing part. Marching, again, reinforcing, defending, that probably make that universal. HP, yeah, kinda not done. Kinda not done. And this might be a dedicated video on how to do your blaze ons. At least the set is good, I think, justice, so that's good. Uh, range, those are nice, marching and rally, and rally, these need to be upgraded. It's kinda, no, that's not good. Uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, this one has reinforcing as well. Yeah, the Cav HP, in rally, this is universal, I don't know, I'd probably do defending Cav HP, which is kinda... Yeah, either, either universal or defending, I think. Yeah. Um, depending on the amount of play cells you have. And then Siege. This is a nice one. And this is this is okay. This is this is okay as well. This is acceptable. See yeah. HP defending, defending universal, that's kinda of okay. And defending, defending and marching, that's kinda of okay as well. Like you just These look good. Yeah, six out of six out of eight HP. For defense, it's kind of good on Siege. And same with Cav, you'd probably want to aim that. So yeah, I might come back and just do a dedicated Blazons video, honestly. Uh, but like, for a quick guide though, like, Justice is good, Vela is good, Honor is good. And Siege did switch, Humidity is good. But with Siege, you could like, you could go the other way around as well, I think. This is Defending. Uh, you could go whatever the other one is called. Let's see. Honesty. You could you could go honesty as well, like attacking if you're a big keep. You could do attacking and get more buffs. Depending on Yeah, although the buffs aren't that big that you get on the set compared to what you could get from a place on itself. Yeah. But still like it just if you're a big keep and you don't usually go against opponents, then I hit you. You don't need the defending debuffs, but yeah, like both of those options are okay on on a keep like this. Yeah. Oh, the art hall kind of looks like it's closed. Might take a look at that too before we sign off. So that's it. Let's level five. Five. About 25%, 30%, something like that. Yeah, so most of them are like, this one is close to 5 as well. This yeah. done, so what's missing? I'm I'm guessing the same one that everybody misses. Toyotori, Diori, yeah. This guy was in like one event. Yeah. And he was bad, so no one got him. Yeah, and it's a shame because it unlocks a really good uh, art treasure. Yeah. And there are all three. Oh, there are two missing. Like Trump, that everyone's missing. And Peter the Great. Uh, he's a tavern guy, right? Yeah. yeah, he's a tavern guy. So is he. 
Yeah. So he is, he's in the Taiwan team. And Martin Trump was only in that um, arts, uh, that general whole tree token pack, I think. Yeah. So not a lot of people got him, probably. Unless he coin heavy. And yeah. Trump just. But we're, we're free to pay. <laughs> free. Uh, let's look at deck. So. No. That clicks. 186M, that's not bad, but like for 28 bill, that should be about like 200. 10 ish, something like that. Yeah, that's something I would say should be. So almost there with ground, kind of just chugging along. Some areas. Yeah. I think this one should be a priority if you still want to focus on MA5. Um, but I think that if you can unlock MA6, that going through the entirety of MA6 is less expensive than doing half of MA5. So that's probably a better bet. Yeah, true. Uh, actually, let this go there. So, like, this is MA6. Uh, MA6 to 10 are the new bits. You get melee formation, long formation added, long range formation. You get access to MA6. So, obviously, unlocked here. Uh, this is cheaper. Like MA6 is like 100k scrolls. MA5 is like 300k scrolls. So probably just do that, and you're gonna gain similar buffs. It's not it's not crazy bad. It's like compared to MA5, it's lower, but it's not crazy bad. I think the benefit of MA6 and up is that the big boxes give buffs to three different troop types at the same time. Okay, that academy is 39. Okay, so that, that should go to 40. Gold is probably a limitation. Oh, uh, she did say that speeds and golds are a problem. Okay, yeah, that explains it. But yeah, I'd, I'd probably do like Academy, uh, sorry, MA6 to MA7 or MA5. So some of that research might get done the next time we come back here. Yeah. Yes. Did we miss anything? Uh, the only other thing I'll talk about is because there were like a bunch of questions in my inbox before we started this was how to do your presets how to lay your presets let's just do that on the fly even though we've screwed around gear so I don't know how good that's gonna be and general we've dismissed generals so Electra in there I don't know is it layered it is layered so yeah, this looks right. Like you do five thousand, two, two to five thousand in layers, or even one thousand if you want to. That's a really top heavy. Do we have two fifteen? So yeah, four hundred k two fifteens, one mil T fourteens, one point three mil T twelve, T thirteens, and one point seven. So I'd probably up this. Like T twelve should be about fifty percent in here. So I might just lower the 14s to something like 950k. The only thing I'm going to be cautious of is I don't know how many. It, it looks like based on the slider, there's something like, I'm guessing 20 mil or something like that, C12s. Yeah. So she may run out of bullets, so he may run out of bullets quicker. Well, that's a good range preset, like really heavy on T12 is what it should be. I'd probably lower these T13s to something like 1150. And that should take me to like 2 mil. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So that would be range. Cav, I'd probably go... Two thousand again, two thousand to five thousand layers, and nine hundred K two fifteens, one point four, one point four. That looks kind of okay though. Yeah. I don't see a lot of T thirteens. If there was, I'd probably slide this down a little bit to one point two, and probably do one point six here. On the calves, uh depending on buffs, you could add more T fifteens or fourteen. So that looks good. 
What is this? Is this T11 or Big Siege? Let's. <coughs> okay, so this is. Bless you. Uh, Big Siege, yeah, 300k T15s, 180 14s, and max the bar out on like T13s, and then everything else should be 1000. That's probably a good Big Siege preset. Yeah, it's good for in rallies, but for solos, it's not that good. Yeah, this is yeah, that's that's right. Thanks for saying that. This is for this is for rallies. You don't want to solo with this. With solos, you will go heavy on T15s. Even in rally, with the whole change, you probably want to add a little bit more. I don't know how many T15s she has, but I'd probably go above 500k. And it just depends on how many bullets you have, how many troops you have. Ground top heavy is what it should be. It kind of looks that way. Probably too many, too many T12s. 550. It's kind of, I think, a good mark. And I'll probably just add more T15s there, yeah. So, ground would be top heavy, again, like 40-45% of your troop should be those, T15s. T6 is probably T11, there you go, so we're gonna switch this around, that's what we talked about. T T11 is easy, it has enough everything, and slide the bar on this, on the T11 siege. Back up rail, back up, oh, ground is what it looks like. Oh, this looks weird. Is this a healing preset? Yeah, this... it looks like just healing. Yeah. Yeah, this is like a filthy coin or thing. This is a healing. <laughs> this is a healing preset. Yeah, I I would not I would not create a separate healing preset, but I would use my T11 preset for it. It depends on the team, though, right? Like how many backup marches do you really need on the team? Uh, so yeah, but I would. I would, for example, um, I would prefer having a separate solo siege preset do you, do you have, that I could also use for raiding, for example, do you have, over a healing preset. Do you have eight huh? presets, Max? I have seven. There you go. I think the eighth one would be that. No, oh, eighth one I've actually back up ground. Interesting. So there's a lot of, what is the first one? So first is monster. Okay. That explains it. Okay. First is where, yeah, I agree with you. Like, I'd probably place like a big siege with T11 general kind of thing here, or solo siege preset right here in slot one. And I don't know. That's just me. Uh, yeah, I would. I would have uh, for presets. I would just have my regular ground cav T11 big siege um, backup ground backup range. And then I would have a seed solo where possible. And both, we're both free to play. This is probably a coin, I think. Let's not talk about healing presets. <laughs> well, I don't have a healing preset, so yeah, I don't, that's okay. I don't, I don't know that. <laughs> thing, but no, no heal. Yeah, what is healing? <laughs> so that's everything that we want to talk about uh we're gonna do some more we're gonna add more buffs and stuff well that electronic yeah be redone of well the douglas which should add like 40 50 percent just with general switch and some gear switching uh so we're gonna come back after we fix stuff up that's sounds good